Hello, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? It's from Crunker Irish Super 47. Back again with yet another Crunker news. We're getting into a lot of Crunker news these days due to so much drama in the Crunker community. Now, it's actually insane how much stuff is going on. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about two very big things. Now, as you can see from the thumbnail and title, we're going to be talking about Frosty Wolf. Some big drama coming from one of the biggest creators in Crunker. Absolutely insane scenes coming here from Frosty Wolf. And the second thing we're going to be talking about today is Crunker coming to Steam. Yes, very exciting news. It's official that Crunker will be coming to Steam pretty, pretty soon. So we're going to get straight into the video, my dudes. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Turn on those notifications so you never miss another 47 video. And yes, use code 47 if you want to miss some KOR in the Crunker shop. And with that, let's get straight into the video, my dudes. So the first thing we're going to be talking about today is Crunker going to Steam. Yes, if you guys don't realize, Crunker's been playing on a client, and basically the, the client has just been emulating the browser onto your PCs for ages now. However, Crunker are going to be moving onto Steam. Very exciting news here. And the reason we know this is because of these screenshots I have right here. And Sydney says, all that's left for Steam Steam is for them to review our application. Now, this was said in a Twitch chat, and later on, he followed that up by saying, yes, real soon, we are working on it, I want to say, before the end of August. So, hopefully, we will have Crunker on the Steam client by the end of August. Now, this could mean a few things for Crunker. If you guys would like me to go into that, let me know down in the comments what you think this will mean for Crunker going to Steam, and if you want to hear my insights about Crunker going to Steam, I think it could be very interesting for Crunker. I think it will increase the player base a lot. Getting it on Steam will be a major improve, especially when it comes to hackers and stuff like that. It should make a massive difference. So, yes, if you guys would like me to talk about it, let me know down in the comments. Now, the big news for today, Frosty Wolf. Frosty Wolf has recently been found, apparently, abusing his mod powers, and he may, in fact, get them taken away. Now, I know a lot of you guys watching the video will be fans of Frosty Wolf. Frosty Wolf, a massive creator in the Conquer community. He's been in the con for ages. He is actually an in-game admin for Crunker. This means that he can kick people out of lobbies, he can hacker tag people, and he can also verify people. Very insane. Yes, Frosty Wolf has a lot of power in this game. However, he has recently found abusing this power. I'm going to show a clip here from 39E on Twitter. Actually, he's recently changed his name to Diet. However, he posted a clip on Twitter, and I'm going to show this for you guys now. It is an insane clip of Frosty Wolf apparently kicking people after he dies from them from a pub game while he was live. So, yes, I'm going to roll that clip right here. After this, I've done a little bit of detective work, and since Diet's clip of Frosty Wolf was actually muted, I went to the bother of going through the VOD that this was found in, finding the clip, and getting some context for you guys. Devs don't say anything, dude. When they, if they tell me no, I'll stop. Like, it's, it's either that, or I just don't stream the game. Because there's, there's no point in playing. Now, Frosty says that it's either that or he doesn't stream the game. Now, this kind of sounds almost like a threat to me that he's going to quit playing Crunker if he gets these mod powers taken away from him. That's what it seems like. I'm just saying this is what it seems like from this clip. He also says that the devs have never told him that he's not allowed to kick people out of the game. However, I think majority of mods know that this is a big no-no when it comes to it. This is an abuse of the powers. However, a lot of people are coming to the defense of Frosty of saying that he was actually kicking stream snipers. However, he's been kicking a lot of people after he died. He ended up kicking some random people too. In Frosty Wolf's offense, people have been saying it is a stream sniper, but we do not know. And Frosty Wolf has not came out on an official statement around this. So we're waiting to see what he has to say about it. However, again, Sydney has came out and said some big news revolving this. Now, this screenshot, I do not have the entire list of what treasonous KR of who Sydney's replying to, what he asked them. However, it does say treasonous KR, I saw it. He's losing his 
mod perms. However, I do not know if he's talking about Frost here, as we do not have the full context of the screenshot. However, if we put one and one together, we can kind of presume that it is Frost he's talking about. So, Frost, he may or may not lose his mod perms from this abuse of power, seemingly in his stream. Now, like I said, I wonder what Frost is going to say about this. This is not a good look from even if it is stream sniping, it still seems like an abuse of power. I do not know. However, I'm going to report this news to you and let you guys decide down in the comments what do you think should happen to Frosty. I know the community has been giving him a lot of hate for it, which is not cool, guys. You should not hate on someone no matter what. It is very bad luck for you and even if they mess up and stuff, it is not very good. And when it comes to that, I also want to say on my recent video, a lot of you guys have been giving Kalza a lot of hate. Recently, after I made the video on him, covering what he's done. And I just want to say, do not hate on people from my videos. I never want to spread hate from these. I just want to inform the community on what's going on with all the drama and Krunker. So, yes, with that, I'm just going to end this by saying... Make sure not to hate people. Like I said, it's not cool, guys. And it is not a very good thing to do. Keep that to yourself, okay? But yes, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Turn on those notifications. Like it's at the start of the video so you do not miss another Crunker news. And with that, good luck, dudes. Peace.